Working with the Thelonious Monk Institute of Jazz out of Washington, D.C., I've had the privilege of working with the organization man, for well over a decade now. And being with our connection with our Jazz Alley TV series, which has worked with all the record companies, all the great jazz musicians over the last, like, 17 years, we're pretty well known in that niche in the jazz, blues, world music world. It's seen in over 80 countries, and I am the host of it. We travel all over the globe to world music festivals uh, and shoot artists performing in these wonderful places like St. Lucia, Thailand, Morocco, Australia, New Zealand. Uh, you name it, we've been to many of the festivals. We also produce Maui Festival in Hana, Molokai, Lahaina, and Lanai. It's a film festival series that's all free and pure Hawaiian music. Hawaiian culture, award-winning films, and we've been doing this for eight years in these rural communities. And we bring in some of the world's finest musicians as well. And we do production work for many networks, TV commercials, documentaries. We won an Emmy for our Kayla Beamer Kihualu film. And I've produced about 20 Hawaiian documentary films. Projects like this help us get jobs with the Thelonious Monk Institute of Jazz. And now we pretty much get hired and get commissioned to direct and produce a lot of their TV specials and filming these beautiful venues with a lot of history and and culture is it's always an exciting thing, you know, for a director producer to come in and you know working with all these these you know great venues, and then on top of it working with some of the world's greatest musicians. Every year, it features an instrument. This year, it went to uh, the Kodak Theater, featuring the trumpet. They had some of the youngest and greatest trumpet players in the world competing for their $20,000 scholarship. It's an amazing experience, really, to be amongst all these great artists. Be at the Kodak Theater, it's where all the big events are held. I'm very fortunate to be here. Shooting at the Kodak Theater, you know, where they do the Academy Awards and the Emmys and stuff is, you know, for a director producer, us coming in, you know, we brought in seven uh, high definition cameras and kind of pretty much, you know, having the uh, run of the place and working with some of the great musicians that the Institute always brings in. You know, uh, some of the judges this year were Herb Alpert, guys like Sting. We had Huma Sakela, and then of course this year was a tie-in with the tribute to Herbie Hancock, one of the great jazz legends. There's been a lot of great young musicians who've come here to, to be a part of this competition, and uh, it's one of those things where I feel proud and very optimistic for the future of jazz. <laughs> Being a production company out of, out of Maui um, and being picked to go to L.A., where all the big guns are, it's it's actually, you know, it's, it's very humbling that, oh, yeah, of all the production companies, hey, we're the guys in there doing it. And, you know, bringing our Maui guys and some of, you know, some of the off-island guys who work with me. And a lot of times you're working with a lot of big egos. <laughs> I mean, I mean some of the biggest egos I have ever experienced. And I've had the honor of, like, directing, like, some actors like Michael Douglas and Peter Fonda and working with Cher and stuff. And these guys don't have, you know, they don't have the egos. You talk to them, you know, they're, they're human beings. But some of the guys in L.A., I mean, that's the most challenging thing. You go in there and, you know, we kind of just go in there and do our thing. Yeah, we're, you know, we're from Maui and stuff. And, you know, they, they look at us right away. It's like they put the walls up. Then, you know, the, you know, they check our background. Oh, yeah, these guys are legit. They can do it. But they got the egos, man. <laughs> so once we get through all that stuff, it all comes together. After the end of the edit sessions, after we put it all together, you know, we've got a beautiful piece that we'll be able to share for generations to come with these great jazz masters and these, these winners that are going to go on and, you know, that we're passing the torch on in jazz. There's a synchronicity with all our DPs, our director of photography, uh, camera people, working with the lighting directors and the audio and getting everything just perfect and then the editing process is a challenge as well but uh, you know we have a great team and everything always seems to come together and while the production is actually going on we always have cameras backstage 
uh, doing interviews with the celebrities and the musicians. We'll do a Jazz Alley TV special on it. Uh, we'll enter into some film festivals. A DVD, I'm sure, will be produced for it. And it'll also be for the archives for the Thelonious Monk Institute of Jazz. I think if I, if I was, uh, couldn't sing, for example, I'd probably have taken up the trumpet. Because I think it's closest to the human voice, that, that sort of emotional tenor that it has. So, uh, you know, you're lucky I can sing, Chris, because <laughs> uh, Chris can't really sing. <laughs> you say you're right about that. <laughs> Al Jarreau did a little snippet with the three semi-finalists of the trumpet competition, too. When I'm there directing and stuff, and the stuff is all coming together, you just kind of know that, man, this is going to be a fun, nice wonderful final product that we're, that we're capturing. And these winners that we're passing the torch on in jazz, dude, and we're documenting, which is really an, uh, quite an honor to be part of that. Jazz to me is an international language. Everyone, everyone can speak it. <laughs>